is go onto Google and get a suitable picture. So I've come onto Google here, I've typed in the word flower, I've selected a sunflower like the look of, I've clicked on it to enlarge it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just right click, I'm going to go to save image as. From there I'm going to save it into my downloads, just click save, it'll come up at the bottom of the screen saying it's downloaded. And what I'm going to do from there is return back to Pixlr, open up my downloads and I'm just going to drag it onto Pixlr and what it will do is either open up a brand new file like this or it will give you the option saying would you like to create a new file or add it to an original one that you're already working on so you click on open a new file. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have our image, the first thing I'm going to do is make a duplicate of the image. So to do that, on the right hand side, you'll see a little thumbnail uh, under the word layers. And I'm going to click on the three little dots over the thumbnail. I'm going to come down to the button that says duplicate layer. So that's going to make an exact copy of the layer. Click on duplicate layer. And there we go. I now have two identical copies. And what I'm going to do on the first one is if I just hop in the bottom right hand side, it'll say the word visible with a little tick next to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that tick and make it invisible. So now that we have our two layers, the first thing I'm going to do with my original layer is I'm going to what we call desaturate it, which means take all the color out of it. So I come over to the left hand side of the screen and you'll see what looks like a little sun icon and when you hover over it, it says the word adjust. If I click on that, it's going to bring up a range of options for me and the one that I'm looking for is this one here that says saturation which is currently on zero. What I'm going to do is grab the marker and bring it right down to minus 100 and you'll see, I then click apply, that the image has now turned to black and white. So now that we've desaturated the original layer, we're going to return to the second layer which is currently hidden. I'm going to unhide it by clicking on the tick to make it visible. And this brings back the full colour image. And what we're going to look to do now is to cut out this main flower in the middle. And the way that we do that is I'm going to click on the scissors on the left hand side and you'll see these options that are available to you and I'm going to click on the draw cutout. Okay. And initially what I'm going to do is I've got two options beneath that where it says mode, I've got key and I've got remove. I'm going to click on key and you'll see that the brush goes to green. Yeah, that's very important. Um, if we look at the remove one, that's red. So green is keep. And I can make the brush size bigger if I so wish at the bottom here like that. And I can just start to color this in green like this. Okay, all these bits I want to keep. I'm just going to make the brush size smaller now, back to its original size. You can see already that it's great, it's cut out all the bits that we didn't want to keep. Uh, and the reason why it looks grey is because that's showing the layer behind. If I just make that layer invisible, you would see this is how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to just colour in over where the petals would be that I want to keep, like this. Just go around until I get everything that I want on that. Okay. Until I'm absolutely happy with everything like this. If I perhaps went over something that I didn't want 
So for example, up here I've got some blue sky that I don't want. I can click on remove. Um, with my mouse I can zoom in. Resize my image. So I resize my uh, brush size I should say. And I can just go in and start to color in the blue bits red so it will cut them out. Okay, and you guys can be a lot more precise as and when you do your. Okay, so there you have it. That's how to create an image using the cutout tools and desaturation. If you have a go at that, please, and when you are done, send it to your teacher. And what would be even better would be if you could send it to the school's Twitter account, which is sentbeadsrchs.